Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. Back on the plane was stranded. I'm looking at the laptop and I might have to shut it over because you might see my porn hook history. But other than that, we are in a massive explosion and we're heading straight down for the sea. Now that you've loaded in guys, all you want to simply do is come out of this hole on your aeroplane and make your way to the surface of the ocean. Now that you're on the surface of the ocean, simply just want to jump on your raft and wait for another loading screen. Then simply jump out your raft and use the thing I like to call the force. Which is if you're on PlayStation, you hold L2 at your raft and you'll be able to drag it just like this. You never ever want to leave this raft in the sea, no matter if you have your anchor down or whatnot, because this boat will go missing. I've never had a game where this boat has survived to the end when I've left it in the sea. The anchor down, just let it be known. Facts. Now that you've dragged your boat ashore and you've flipped him upside down, let it be known there is a storage area inside that boat if you don't know and there is some food supplies in there in case you're struggling for food you can actually go in there and eat them foods but what I suggest you do guys is you run around your first island and you grab everything, the rocks, the sticks, everything and everything you can find and go around the surrounding bit of ocean around your island and get all the crates outside the shipwrecks this will help you out a lot and what i like to do is i like to pull it all in one spot on the island sort it all out make a little raft then strip this island completely bare guys listen to me strip this island bare put everything material wise you can like the logs and everything in crates put it in your inventory and then don't set up camp on this island all you want to set up on this island it's a campfire, like obviously your tarp thing for your, your water, you need your water, you need your fire and you need your tent. Just make them three objects just so you can live over here for a hot minute. And then what you want to be doing is while you're living over here, just spending a day or two, just strip the island completely bare and head over to the neighbouring island of your direction. That's what I like to do, that's how I always start my games and I'm always balling from the rip. Now that your island's stripped bare, you should have a little something what looks like this. Loads of crates for storage, loads of poles of scrap everywhere, loads of sticks and trees. I haven't knocked down the trees because obviously I've put this footage a little bit forward. So what I've done is I've stripped the first island you've spawned on and I've jumped on my boat with my crates and I've gone over to the neighbouring island like I've said previously in the video now this is the island I'm going to be living on so I've got all the branches, all the trees, all the bushes from the previous island and I've brought them across to this island so now I'm ready to make spears, make my raft and go and fight the first boss if you did go to find this video helpful today in any way don't forget to subscribe, smash them post notifications hit that big fat thumbs up for your boy as it's always greatly appreciated and I'll catch you all on the next Stranded Deep video. He's out my brother's heart. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.